A deadly house fire on Long Island, a fire that killed a woman and her four year old granddaughter. This afternoon, firefighters paid their respects to the lives lost with a bagpipe salute. The home on 12th Street in New Hyde Park engulfed in mm -hmm. flames, and tonight we know what sparked it. I went to reporter NJ Burkett with the story, the tragic stories live in New Hyde Park for us. NJ. Yeah, Bill, devastating, heartbreaking, and totally unnecessary. A fire started by an unattended candle, according to the fire marshal, in the middle of the night. And no working smoke detectors, not a single one, to warn the victims asleep on the upper floors. It's a shame. Our prayers are with this family. Volunteer firefighters in New Hyde Park are heartbroken tonight. They gathered outside the burned out home, struggling to come to terms with the loss of a little girl and her grandmother. When there's a loss of life within a fire situation, especially when members go in and are able to get the individuals out of the house, you know, it's a sense of feeling that you're hurt inside. This was the scene moments after firefighters arrived. The entire house consumed with flames from the floor to the roof in the middle of the night. A 10-year-old boy and his grandfather had already escaped by the time they arrived. But the boy's 4-year-old sister, Brooke Shalizi, and their 68-year-old grandmother, Maria Karpinski, were found unconscious and had to be rescued. And they did not survive. Neighbors say the children's parents, Renee and Pete Shalizi, were out of town and left the children to stay with their grandparents. Late today, fire investigators told Eyewitness News that a candle left unattended started the fire and that there were no working smoke detectors anywhere in the house. Alan Liu is their next door neighbor. The whole street was lined with fire, fire trucks on both sides, on the, on, the, on the cross streets also. So there was a lot of people here. Uh, trying to put out the fire, and um, again, uh, they did the best they could. Well, the girl's brother remains hospitalized. His precise condition could not be confirmed tonight. Fire safety experts are urging people to check their smoke detectors, and if you don't have them, get them.